Okay, babes. Ooh. It's your girl Kiara Lynn here back with another video. Such an exciting video. I'm so excited to record this video again. As you guys can see from the title and the probably the thumbnail and everything, this is a, a bartending vlog. I'll just show y'all the ins and outs of my uh, working days. Today is going to be day one. I'll probably do it this week and maybe some of next week. Probably not though. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Um, I do work today at my restaurant job. That's where I'm about to head out to. I'm working the lunch shift. Uh, but I also work tomorrow. I believe I work Saturday and then I work Sunday as a server. So maybe you can also, I'll also record a little bit of my serving life. Um, so yeah. Wednesdays are hit or miss. Sometimes they're great. Sometimes they're spectacular. Okay, for a, a lunch shift, they're amazing. But sometimes, like last week, it, it could be a dud. Um, so it really depends. But that's just what this vlog is about. Just showing the real life of being a bartender. Um, working in, I work in a nightclub, and I also work in a like a bar restaurant kind of oh, I have to be working 30 minutes and I have to take my son to my grandparents house I'm sure you can hear him Mommy, come on. and he's rushing me so I'm just going to yeah, talk to y'all when I get to work maybe so bye guys All right, y'all. Oh, my face oily. The shift is over. It's like eight o'clock. It's late as fuck. I got off at five. Well, I didn't get off at five. I was supposed. To, I was supposed to get off at five, but it's what time is it? Damn, I still got to get gas. Oh, it's eight eleven. I've been off work for like an hour though. I ain't about to act like I just been working this whole time because I haven't. I got off like an hour ago. The bartender that was supposed or that's supposed to relieve me, she was late. Um, so I didn't get off till about seven o'clock. But she was there at like six o'clock. I'm not gonna act like she was just two hours late. She wasn't. But like, if you know, you know. Even when the bartender that comes in and relieves me is here, a lot of times I still have to wait like 30, 45 minutes from all my tables to cash out. So that's pretty much what happened. So I, she got there about six, and I didn't leave until about six thirty, seven o'clock, somewhere in between there. <clears throat> I am today, just so you guys know, it was not the greatest day. You know, when I'm bartending, I'm sorry I keep moving y'all. When I'm bartending, I expect to walk out with three hundred dollars every time, minimum, minimum, like minimum. I really want like a thousand dollars every time I'm working, but you know, let's be realistic. That's not always a thing. <clears throat> People weren't tipping for real. Um, so I really didn't make great of money. I made decent money. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna get the the money count on and popping right here. You gotta add fifteen dollars because I just paid for food. So fifteen plus one, one fifty, twenty, forty, fifty. So two hundred. Two ten. To twenty. Two thirty. Two thirty-five. Seven two thirty-five. 236, 237, 238, 239, 240. We'll just add the 15 real quick. So what's that? 255, 255, 256, 257, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 67. So 267 on a Wednesday. Really ain't that great, but it's okay. So oh, that is the end of today's work day. We also that work tomorrow. Tomorrow night, hopefully, is a good night. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow. 
Hey vlog. Oops, my book. Hey vlog and good afternoon. Good it's actually like nine o'clock at night. Um, and we are on day two of this bartender vlog. And we are on our way to the money. Where the money reside, where the money reside, where the money reside. Yes, we are on our way to work. Um, tonight I work at the club that I work at. It's Thursday night. It's July 27th, I think. 27th. Oh, I'm right on the money. It's going to be a good night. It's going to be a good mother. It's 8.41. It takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to get downtown, which where that's where my job is. So most of my Thursdays have been bomb. Last Thursday it was a bust. Okay, it was a fucking bust. I only made like a hundred, two hundred dollars. Not shit. Sure. I ain't make enough. <laughs> so hopefully tonight we're leaving with at least three fifty. I need the people to come out. It is a late crowd. It usually gets busy around eleven thirty. Dang, motherfucker. It usually gets busy around eleven thirty, eleven, eleven thirty, and it's a like quick. So we close at two, so it's quick. Um, so from like 11 to like 1.30, it'd be a quick crowd. But I like that. And I'll be crazy busy all night and I usually make a, a little bit of money in that short period of time. So we'll see. I'm usually the only person, cause there's two bars. There's an outside bar and an inside bar. On Thursday nights, I'm usually the only person on the inside bar, which I like that because don't be that busy on the inside. So, I don't know. We will see how the night goes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get too much footage. Because, like I said, when it gets busy, it gets busy. But I'm about to stop talking. My storage is at one minute. Uh, I'll see y'all when I get to work. If not, when I get to work, when I'm about to leave work. So, I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Bye. <laughs> All right, what is up, y'all? It is a few hours later. Last time I talked to y'all was like legit right before my shift. But today was a good night. I ain't gonna lie. The club was very busy. Um, we are gonna do a quick little money count, but the club was real busy. Uh, I ain't mad at tonight. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't mad. So this is all the money I got after tip out. I did have like a $35, no, I had a $40 tip out between the food runners and busters because I do tip out food runner and my bar back. Not, I wouldn't say buster, my bar back. It was about $40, give or take. So this is how much I got. So I have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 410, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 58. So 458. Not too shabby, I say. Wait, what did I say? 458 divided by, I worked five hours. So about that much hourly. And what's crazy is, it was kind of busy, but it really wasn't busy on the inside. The outside was pumping, so I know they ate outside for sure. But that is really the end of day two. This is an ideal night for me. <laughs> I love the, these kind of nights. I love making more, but like this is ideal. This is kind of what I expect. And I'm happy with today. Day two is done. We have Saturday night at the club again. And then Sunday morning or Sunday brunch shift at the restaurant. I'm going to talk to you on day three of this weekly bartending vlog. Oh, TTYL. Y'all have a great, blessed night. 
or morning or afternoon or whatever time y'all are watching this at. Bye guys. Hey vlog. I did talk to y'all yesterday, but yesterday at like 3, 4 in the morning, not like yesterday, yesterday. And I was supposed to work tonight. Like, as I told y'all, today is Saturday. But things changed. I was told I really wasn't needed for tonight. I think the party got canceled or like the promoter or something. Something happened with the um, promoter. So they didn't need four bartenders. So he just told me I didn't have to come in. I'm real disappointed in that though. Because we got things to take care of. We got a video to record. Like what? So this might have to go into next week. I did have the opportunity to pick up a shift, but it was before I found out that I couldn't work or I wasn't, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm not looking at y'all, but it was before I found out I wasn't working at my club job. Um, somebody at my, the restaurant asked me if I can cover their shift behind the bar and I told them I couldn't just cause I thought I had to work. Tried to double back, but she had already gave it away. So I'm not tripping though. It's whatever it is, what it is. But I pressed my hair out earlier today. I took my hair down yesterday. Pressed it out today. I was getting you all cute for work tonight. Y'all, it's getting healthy. It's getting very healthy. I haven't worn my hair since I just posted a video. I just posted a video the um the bar or the um what's that thing called? The pop-up shop video is the last time I had my hair out. I've had my hair in braids for like almost two months now. Um, I really don't have anything planned for today. I'm probably just going to chill because... supposed to pick y'all up this morning but I was in a rush to get to work but today was a good day to be a server to be there period it was I mean well for me it was a good day I'll say that we came in with like $80 so we'll take 80 out so 20 40 60 80 is out off rip because I brought 80 for my bank and I'm just jumping straight into the um, money count right now because what's the point of talking at this point it wasn't real busy, but the people was tipping. But that's because the service is always top notch, period. Like, you can't expect people to tip you if your service is shitty. So, yeah, your girl got hella tips today. I ain't had that many tables, but I got some good tips. So, let's just get right into the money count real quick. 100, 150, 20, 40, 60, 80, 250, 20, 40, 60, 80, 350, 310, 320, I mean, no, wait, no, 350, 360, 370, 384, 384, so basically almost 400, um, I did work like five hours, so what did I say, 384? Let's do this. 384 divided by 5 hours is $77 an hour. Can't be mad at it. Can't be mad at it. Oh, yes, guys. And then we're off by 430. I've been clocked out, but yes, 430. So now I have somewhere to be today. I have a party I'm going to. 
to bang this food. I got, so the other day, I don't know, did I show, oh yeah, when I worked on Wednesday, I showed y'all my uh, catfish sandwich today. I got a po' boy. This po' boy, po boy is so good. And I'm not finna eat right now, cause I just count all that money. But when I get home, oh yeah, I'm finna bang this motherfucker. So, I might pick y'all back up later on when I go to this little party. It's for, it's for my, my boyfriend's aunt, my aunt, because she's my aunt too. But she just turned 60 a couple days ago. She's just celebrating her 60th birthday party. So, yeah, we're about to get lit. We're definitely finna get lit. And we're finna just hang out. Sis got an open bar. You know, my baby daddy, um, people. I never showed y'all. I had a whole vlog for y'all. For my boyfriend's, um, my boyfriend turned 30 a little bit ago. Oh, y'all about to overheat. But my boyfriend turned 30 a couple months ago. But basically, moral of the story is they know how to party. Open bar, fun, DJ, all that. We finna have a good time tonight. So, y'all stay tuned. I might bring y'all along. We'll see, we'll see. I kind of skipped um, earlier in the day not um, saying nothing to y'all. So, I kind of got to make up for it. So, y'all might come to the party with me. Y'all might come hang out with your girl. We probably ain't gonna bring the vlog camera because your girl might get a little bit. Just a little. new day a new work day what's the last time i talked to y'all i think i talked to y'all sunday yeah this is the last time i talked to y'all i low-key might be done after today i might do saturday and then cut the vlog but it is thursday august 3rd august 3rd august 4th i don't know but it's thursday and tonight is a month is a, <laughs> a working night we work at the club tonight I'm really finna just run upstairs real quick and get um showered. I have about two hours until I have to be to work. I have to be there today at 8 p.m. It's about like like six o'clock, a little after six. So we're just about to get ready. Like it is Thursday, so I'm not gonna do nothing crazy or nothing like I'm not gonna overdo it as far as like how I look. I probably wait till a more busy day like Saturday or Sunday, the weekend days, to do like some makeup or something if I want to. Today, I'm just about to pull this back into a ponytail or a bun. I don't know which one, but we're just looking real basic. Fix my eyebrows, maybe put some lashes on. I don't know. I don't even know about the lashes part, but I'm about to stop running my mouth. We're going to head upstairs, and we're going to get um, in the shower. So. so I finally made it out the house. We is on our way. I can't even tell if I'm in focus. I don't like that angle. It don't look like I'm in focus. There we go. Um, I am made it out the house. I am on my way to work. It's, why does that say 238? 7.50, why does my car say 238? That is weird. Um, 7.50, so I should be pulling up to the job in like five, 10 minutes. So I'll basically be right on time. <sighs> so yes, yeah, so let's get this show on the road hopefully we make a bag tonight i'm kind of like not running to not wanting to go to work i kind of want to spend time with my family um i probably like you'll probably know more information in the next vlog as to what i like why i feel like that but it is what it is your girl gotta work Niggas tryna 
end of the night. I am at home. I just took a shower. Let's do a recap on the night. So, what do you rate the night? Out of 10. Out of 10, I rated a 4. A 5. A 5. I'll give it a 5. It was okay, but it really wasn't that great of a night. All the money I made. So let's count it. So we got 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, so 320, 340, 350, 360, 370, 375. And this is 25 ones. I already know. Like $400 is what your girl made. And y'all could be like, ooh, care, $400. Like, that's a good night. We really could have made hella money tonight if it would have been like as busy as last night. I mean, last Thursday. Like, the money is, the money is great. $400? I can't be mad at it. And I agree with y'all. But it like the actual club environment, like the people that was there, they was not spending money. And like this is four hundred dollars, but this is not four hundred dollars in just tips. This is four hundred dollars in my tips, and the waitresses, um, because the waitresses tipped me out. So four hundred dollars with the waitress tip out. My tip out tonight was roughly $35 between the um, bar back and the food runner, roughly $35. Really all I had to let y'all know, tonight was an okay night. I'm ready to hit the sheets, it's 3.30. Yeah, I'm ready to hit the street, the streets, the sheets. I am ready to hit these sheets. What's up, y'all? It is the last day of the video. Y'all, I'm just blowing my mic back up. I don't be feeling like y'all can hear me. You can probably hear me way better now. So, yes, it's the last day of the video. <laughs> After I've said that three different times. Um, it is Saturday. And we're going to go get to this money. I am completely dressed and completely ready. Hopefully today is a good night. My coworkers are on a, uh, they went to a boat party or, yeah, they had a little boat party today. So hopefully everybody is ready for work and it's a bunch of people. I think I'm still waiting on them to get to the uh, actual club because I don't think they're there yet. Like my manager and stuff. This is what I'm wearing real quick. I know it's kind of dark. Sorry, 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 sorry. The girl's looking kind of cute. I'm liking the halter top. It's about to head out. I can't wait to come back home. I do not even, like I said, I'm really not even in the mood for work. I'm not going to lie. Y'all, um, I already said this in the last video that I was going to talk about in my next video, but whatever. My baby daddy, sorry for the bad angle. My baby daddy leaving me tomorrow for a whole month. So... I'm just not in a working mood. Oh, real quick, we finna put on my perfume tonight. I am wearing YSL again. I think last time I talked to y'all, I was wearing this. But yeah, I'm gonna put it on again. I was debating on that in centerpiece. But I'm gonna just go with that tonight. But I heard you come take a shot with me before you I go. And you better be up when I get home. Mm. I ain't got something over here. What's up? Anyways, can you tell the vlog you're leaving me tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I can't see you. I don't want them to see you. I'm to see you. All you have to do is say, yeah, I'm leaving. My baby mama's going to be a single mother for a month. Shout out to all the single mothers. I miss you, baby. You going to miss me? I'm going to miss you, too. I ain't going to have nobody come home, to. All right, guys. I'm going to talk to y'all when we get to work. I'm about to give my baby daddy some goodbye kisses and my son some goodbye kisses. And then we go head up out here. Yeah. And I'm gonna fix this baby here. Hi 
Hey vlog. What the fuck? Come on. There we go. I think that's better. Done with our shift for the night. <clears throat> Y'all. This was my first Saturday and it was not giving. Uh, it was it giving. is editing Kiara real quick. Um, I just, just going through editing this vlog. I feel like I kind of sound a little ungrateful because some people might think that $300, $400 is a lot of money. And not to say it's not. Walking out with $300 on a Saturday night at a nightclub is crazy. A, like, on a normal night, like maybe a Wednesday night, $300 might not be something I complain about. But a Saturday night where I could have been at home with my man, my man's leaving me in. At this point, it was probably like three hours we had to get up and he was about to get on a plane to leave me for a month. So I was already in my feelings because I knew my man was going to leave me. But to go to work make 300 and I could have just been sitting there and I would have preferred to just been sitting at home with my man or spending quality time with my family. It was just kind of like irritating. So that's kind of why I was like in a little funk. So I don't mean to be short with y'all. We just gotta understand like the lot, the business I work in, people walk out with thousands. I'm watching TikTok. People be walking out with thousands of dollars on a Saturday night um, in these nightclubs. So for me to walk out with 300, I was just pissed. <laughs> and I would say this too, the money wasn't money in this video. Um, it seems like whenever I'm not recording or doing something bartending related is when I have my best nights. And when I am doing something, it's more like a regular smaller night. So um, I do wanna let y'all know that the money was not money at all. I, but I'm not mad at like the videos I put out. This is, I want y'all to realize this is real life bartending. There's nights you're going to have that. Are, you're going to walk out with a bam. And then there's going to be nights you walk out with. Yesterday, I w walked out with $60. <laughs> it wasn't at the uh, club. It was at my restaurant job, but $60. A week ago, I probably made $600. And today, I fucking made $60. That is really bartending. It's not consistent at all. And I think that's what I really like about my vlogs. I'm really telling y'all, like, yeah. The other night, I made $800. But today, I only made 100 So. But enough, enough chit-chat. Back to the video. <laughs> it was giving very much so. You should have stayed your dumb ass at home. You should have caught the fuck in. That's what it's giving. It's giving... You should have stay at home with your baby daddy. Is what it's giving. And I don't like that. Like. It took me all day to park. These motherfuckers. What is going on tonight? Um. Just crazy. Anyways. Um. Yeah. It's giving I should have stayed home. I made. I ain't gonna waste your time and do a money count. <laughs> I made three hundred and thirty dollars. For a Saturday, y'all, that's not giving. What did I make Thursday? Like four hundred for a Saturday night, I made less than I made for a Thursday night. Like, be fucking for real. So let's be honest, the reason why what the fuck is people beeping at? There's two bar bartenders on Saturday night and only me on Thursday night on the inside. But even beyond that, like, Saturday night was just not given tonight. I really wish I just could have stayed at my ass at home and spent time with my baby daddy who was leaving me in a couple hours. Like, I did not fuck with tonight. I made okay money. I made $330 in like five and a half hours. Okay, sure, whatever. Like, some people might be real thankful for that, but. A Saturday night, be fucking for real. Might as well made fucking. Anyways. But yeah, guys, I'm not trying to end this on a bad note. And I ain't trying to be like negative. Because some people might be like three. That's a lot of money. I would definitely have chose to stay at my crib as opposed to coming into work but being downtown is being downtown like i got i looked the fuck up 
and was able to find a parking spot. But people literally pay forty, fifty dollars to fucking work tonight. So like, I pay fifty dollars and I get three hundred and thirty dollars. It's crazy. I didn't do that. I, I looked up. I only paid two dollars for parking, but still, like that's just the reality of things. Like everything that glitters and gold. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I'm out of focus, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned some shit from this video. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay um, in the second have, lane from right. If I have anything else to say, I definitely will come back on here and let y'all know. But if not, thank you babes for watching. I'll talk to y'all in the next video. And bye guys.